it is said that never put all your eggs in one basket there are some people who believe that the interpretation of this saying is that don't put your entire money in a single stock in the stock market i think that's way too aggressive i would interpret it like don't put your entire money only in stock market and in fact you should diversify your money in different investment avenues but then if it were not to be stock market then what is there any other opportunity which gives me better returns than fd but that too at almost the same amount of risk if you want to know about this check out the full video Hi guys, Sia Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a brand new Wednesday video. I hope you might be aware that these days I'm selecting topics more from your requests which you do during my live streams. For those who are still not aware about the live streams, here's a quick schedule for you all. Every Wednesday and every Saturday I do release a video on I mean at 8 pm, okay? And the questions which you ask in the comment section regarding these video topics, I try to answer most of them during the live streams which happen on the immediate next working day. So for the Wednesday video the live stream will be on Thursday at 8 pm and for Saturday's video the live stream will be on Monday at 8 pm. But for this week we are not going to have a live stream on Thursday but we'll have it on Friday. The reason is very simple, it's my birthday on Friday. Okay? So I would love to be with you all at 8 pm so don't forget to be there online for the youtube live uh, 8 pm friday 26th i would love to celebrate my birthday with you all so which is the instrument that i was talking in the first part of video which gives me a possibility of earning more than fds and almost at the same risk exposure the security or the type of investment avenue which i'm talking about is bonds okay not all types of bonds a specific type of bonds which we are going to discuss in today's video will help us to understand about this better investment opportunity but first come first let's understand the meaning of bond for that i'm reading out the definition for you it is a fixed income security which allows a lender to lend a predetermined amount of funds and be eligible for interest on those funds okay uh that was a plain definition but let's understand in simple terms okay assume that i i am a company who wants money i mean need of funds okay possibility number 1 i can raise money by issuing equity shares okay possibility number 2 i say i want to loan i go to the bank bank is putting me so so many terms and conditions i say forget it i want borrow from a bank i would love to borrow from you all are you ready to give me money okay example i don't want money but are you ready to borrow uh, are you ready to lend money to me okay so who are you you are the lender okay you are lending money to me who am i i am the borrower okay so i am the company who is wanting to borrow the funds from you all and you are the ones who are the lenders to the company simple deal but then the very first question you are going to ask me is that rachna if, if you i mean if we lend funds to you you are asking this to me rachna if we lend funds to you what will we get in return okay so i will tell you that i am ready to pay you let us say 8% interest on the amount which are, which you are lending to me okay so will you tell me in advance that we are going to lend you x amount of rupees yes okay so let us say you tell me that rachna we will pay you 10000 rupees each okay 10000 you have promised to give me and i have promised to give you 8% return i hope it is clear till now okay so let us wrap up once again now let us reread the definition and i am sure you will be able to understand this in a much better fashion so what is a bond bond is a fixed income security why fixed income i promise to give you 8% come what may even if share market goes down or up i promise you 8% that's why it's a fixed income security second which allows the lender who is the lender you all were the lenders i am the borrower i am the corporate okay which allows the lender to lend a predetermined amount of funds and what was the predetermined amount of funds 10000 which you had promised to me and be eligible for interest on those funds absolutely clear now please understand one more thing that in case of a bond okay why i use that word 10000 okay it could be 1000 also it could be 1 lakh also it could be 10 lakhs also okay there is a predetermined amount that's a fixed amount and this fixed amount is called as the face value okay you can invest in multiples of this but that would be the minimum amount that you have to invest okay so in simple words one bond can have a face value of 100 rupees one bond can have a face value of 1000 rupees can have a face value of 10000 1 lakh 10 lakh rupees also 
ओके सो फेस वैल्यू इज द वैल्यू विच इज रिटर्न ऑन द फेस ऑफ द बॉन्ड सिंपल दैट्स अ फेस वैल्यू इनफैक्ट ऑल सच सिंपल टर्म्स आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन माय बेसिक्स ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट लेक्चर सीरीज If you are interested to learn more about stock markets and in a systematic manner, I definitely suggest that you should go through this course. Okay, uh, so coming back to our definition, I hope this point is absolutely clear. The meaning of bond is clear. You have understood many concepts, but one more point: there are many more concepts relating to bonds, and which exactly is what we are going to cover in the next section of the video. Now that you have understood a lot about the meaning of bonds, let's talk about the different terms which come up in bonds. As of now, you know that uh, there is something known as face value of the bond. That is absolutely clear. The value which is written on the face of the bond. Second and very important concept, which is known as the coupon. Okay, uh, many people get confused with this terminology coupon rate. In simple words, that is nothing but the rate of interest. Okay, uh, but whenever we talk about bonds, we never say what is the interest rate on bonds. We ask what is the coupon rate of the bond. Okay, so that that's the terminology which is to be used. One more important thing which you should know about bonds is what is the tenure of the bond. Okay, so like there is no tenure for a share. A share is issued till perpetuity, till the company closes. The share exists. But if I'm talking about a fixed deposit, is there a tenure? Yes, there is a term. So, for example, you will have a one-year FD. You will have a six months FD. That one year or six months is nothing but the tenure of the FD. Similarly, there will be a tenure for a bond. Okay, so the tenure of the bond can be like three years, five years, ten years, whatever. So that is nothing but tenure. I hope this point is also clear. Then, uh, then comes up an important point is. what is the coupon payment date okay so coupon payment date is nothing but a date which is declared by the issuer of the bond wherein they are going to pay you interest so coupon can be paid quarterly it can be paid monthly it can be paid semi annually it can be paid annually okay so everything will be given in the offer document so you need to know that what is the coupon payment date of course there is something known as a date of redemption and also redemption value okay let's understand these two terms also the word itself suggests number 1 date of redemption so whenever a company issues the bond they are also going to redeem the bond okay so for example i have told you that i need 10000 rupees from you i have to repay that to you as well okay so the date on which i repay you the funds that will be the rate uh, the date at which i repay you the funds that will be the date of redemption of the bonds okay so as i mentioned right now what could be the date of redemption it could be 3 years later it could be 5 years later depending on the tenure of the bond okay and redemption value very important concept now in the offer document itself it may be written that at what price or at what value the bond is going to be redeemed it can be redeemed at par that is at face value what was the example let us say the face value of the bond is 1000 so it can be redeemed at 1000 it can be redeemed at less less than 1000 it can be redeemed at more than 1000 this is nothing but redemption at par redemption at discount and redemption at premium i hope all these concepts are also very clear okay last last part if you did not understand when i want to redeem the bond okay you invested 1000 rupees in me now i'm going to give back this 1000 rupees to you or if you invested 10000 in me i'm going to give you 10000 back to you but then i may say that i'm going to give you only 10000 that is nothing but at par i may say that i'm going to give you 10000 plus 10% that's redemption at premium and if i say i'll i'll redeem the uh, bond for you at 10000 minus 2% that is redemption at discount okay so i hope this redemption concept is also very clear in the immediate next section i'm going to talk about what different bonds are available in the market right now for investment which are tax free bonds so just keep on watching this video now that you know so much about bonds let's move on to a practical example about the actual investment opportunity which is available in the market right now okay so here you can see on the screen that there are four bonds which are available uh, for investment right now which is rec limited hudco limited housing and urban development corporation limited basically par finance corporation and nhai national highway authorities of india okay let me tell you uh, that all these entities have already issued bonds way back so just as an example rec i had invested in these same bonds in 2013 okay it's like at that time it was like an ipo of these bonds right now they are trading in the secondary market i hope this is clear but at that time uh, those who did not invest who did not know about this investment opportunity or those who did not have funds or for any other matter did not invest at that time you still have a good opportunity to earn interest and this interest is a tax free interest now how do you get to know about this if you check 
just below the name it will it is written see psu tax free so it's it's a bond which is issued by a public sector undertaking so comparatively definitely safe it's a public sector undertaking and also if you see the credit rating it is triple a crystal rating even if you talk about hudco it is triple a care rating so crystal care all these are the credit rating companies okay who are rating the bond so triple a is always considered to be pretty safe as far as the credit is concerned in simple words there is very less chance of default okay so these are the four bonds which are available very important as i mentioned these are tax free uh, opportunities available for you so whatever interest you will get that is going to be tax free interest now let's see if you get the meaning of all these terms quickly what is tenure tenure is nothing but what tenure is the time frame available before maturity so in simple words rec is going to mature 41 months from day okay or hudco will uh, mature within 22 months so roughly hudco has two more years before maturity okay price per unit now this price is this the face value no face value of all these bonds is 1000 rupees this is the current market price of these bonds okay in simple words now that you know the concept can i say that all these bonds are trading at a premium as compared to the face value yes third one is ytm okay this is a very very intense discussion topic if i were to start what is ytm then uh, it will take a lot of time easily 10 15 minutes from here so uh, if i ask you that do you want me to say, make a separate video on this concept i'm sure your answer would be obviously yes okay so uh, going going ahead ytm i'm sure yes that is going to be your answer so i'll make a separate uh, concept on that uh, separate video on that coupon rate is something i'm sure everyone knows by now that's the interest rate frequency yearly so you're going to get interest yearly and taxable very important no is the answer okay well let's have a quick recap of what we did we did till now we talked about face value tenure we talked about the current price per unit ytm i told you that it's it's a very uh you know a very tricky concept you need to discuss that in detail and yes we are going to discuss that in the upcoming sessions coupon rate frequency taxable coupon payment dates redemption value date of redemption everything but the whole big question is should we invest or not i think the answer should not be given in this video for a simple reason you need to understand the nitty gritties okay because there are so many people who get confused Uh, whether i should use number 1 ytm or i should use the coupon rate coupon rate if i look at it and if i just say oh, coupon rate is 8.01% i should buy it right away without thinking it you may end up taking a wrong decision even if you are looking at ytm ytm is for rec it's 5.4% worth it okay if because what some people may do as a direct comparison would be 5.4 is a tax free related ytm but uh, let us say an fd yields 5.5% which is taxable then i should jump into it i don't think uh, we are in a hurry to jump to this conclusion because i told you all these bonds which i talked about which are available in the market right now they have so much tenure to maturity rec bonds 41 months to mature hudco 22 months to mature pfc 32 months to mature and nhai 130 months to mature you have a lot of time in hand so don't worry i would be coming up with many many more videos related to uh, relating to this topic just keep on following the channel and i'm sure by the end of almost 5 6 videos at least about bonds you will be in a position to understand bonds in much more depth Well I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope I have at least created the thirst in you to learn more about bonds. Uh and I I I'm feeling, you know, that that pleasure that yes I have not told you the entire answer for this. Okay? So, uh definitely keep on watching this series on bonds. I hope you'll enjoy it for sure. Till then keep on sharing my content if you're liking it, uh, share it on WhatsApp, FB, Insta, whatever and uh, do not forget to check out that join button. I I remind you always, right? So that's it from my side guys for the day. Jai Hind and peace.